Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for the Payday 3 news video where we've got some collaboration news today. All mask based, one's in Payday 3 and one's in a different game, DayZ or DayZ depending on how you want to pronounce it. Being British I really want to say DayZ but I'll say DayZ just to appease the American audience. Don't say I don't do anything for you but no, we're going to talk through the collaborations very quickly, what you need to do and just leave it at that. And I'm going to get into the habit of doing this very quickly. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, consider doing so. You'll stay up to date with all future Payday 3 news and I would greatly, greatly appreciate you pressing that button. We're going to try and hit 40,000 by the end of the year. And since I asked the last couple of videos people to subscribe, you've actually been doing it. And the percentage of people who've been watching who are subscribed is increasing. So let's keep it going, please. Thank you very much. So biggest one, most important one is the Alienware collaboration because this is one that's taking place within Payday 3. The DayZ collaboration is not within Payday at all. It's to do with Payday, but it's in their game. Alienware is just adding a mask to Payday 3. It's a very cool looking mask, but I will say the render of it here, the picture is a bit better than it looks in game. All you need to do is log into your Nebula account and navigate to the linked account section and then link your account with Alienware Arena. If you don't have an account, you can log in and make one. Once you log in with it though, you'll be tied to that account forever. So on your Nebula account, once you've signed in with this Alienware Arena account, that's the only one you can use if that impacts you at all. If you don't care, then, well, it doesn't matter. But all you need to do is click continue and link your account. So you can see here, all I need to do, I haven't actually linked mine. I've only just made an account myself. Authorize it and job done. There we go. Account is connected. That now means, according to the page here, it should be available in-game after a restart. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to check it ourselves. Okay, so just logged in. Let's double check and see if the mask is here. Fingers crossed. Yes, there it is. The invader mask. So you can see, I really like the mask, but if you look at the picture in the render, the eyes are glowing and it looks so much cooler. I would have loved some glowing eyes there, but either way, it is still a good looking mask. The only other downside is you might notice that this mask, unfortunately, can't be customized. There's no customized button, it is just a mask preset, but it's still cool. And there's no doubt some suits that you can get that will probably line up fairly well with it. I'd have to have a little look and see if I can figure out maybe if there's a purple one that we can use. Oh, actually, ooh. There's not much in the way of purple outfits right now. I mean, if they do the Saints Row crossover again, that would be pretty good because you'd have something pretty decent to go with it. But there you go. So that mask is in Payday 3 now and you can get into it as long as you have your Nebula account links to an Alienware Arena account. Links to all this will be in the description. Just adding this in very quickly, as I finish my recording, someone posted that there is a mod on Mod Workshop already that gives the mask glowing eyes. So if you want glowing eyes for it, I'll link this mod in the description as well. Unfortunately, that means console players like myself and Xbox won't get access to it. But hey, if you're on Steam, then you can get this mod downloaded so at least some of the audience can get the glowy eyes that you know we have in the render here or at least they look glowy maybe they aren't quite glowy but they look it so i'll leave that link to the mod in the description as well so you can get some glowy eyes on your mask if you like. The only other thing to know beyond that is the Payday DayZ event. As I mentioned, they are adding some masks from Payday into DayZ, which is the uh, MMO zombie game. It's not really my speed. I've tried to get into it a couple of times, but I'm more of a state of decay guy myself. But if you're out there and you like DayZ and you want to get access to the Payday masks, they are available now. Obviously, because I don't play DayZ, I don't fully understand what they're saying in this blog post. From the wording of it, it's just, they're just available. It says the masks will be distributed across both maps with two types on each map. You'll need to travel between the maps or obtain them from an unlucky server hopper. But also if you're a community server owner, you'll have access to the event files even after the event is over. So you get access to those four masks in DayZ. Don't know where exactly or how that works, but I'm assuming if you play DayZ, you will know how to find them. If you don't, I apologize. I have absolutely no clue how that works. I just want to let you all know that they are available. Uh, and this event lasts until July 23rd. It kicks off now and you can play it until then. It's on Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation. So if you want to play it, you've got three possible platforms there to have a go. Apparently, uh, the Dallas, Wolf, and Hoxton masks have been in the game before, a long time ago, but Chains is brand new. And funny enough, I was having a look through and I noticed a comment it was talking about how when this trailer came out showing off the masks, they noticed that the music was very similar to one from Update 1.22. And I just thought it'd be funny to show this because if you listen to the music in the background very faintly, Sounds very, very similar to the Somewhere in Mexico cutscene from the end of Payday 2. And, you know, blue gloves, they're carrying a medic bag there. And also the final shot is a very similar shot to the end of Somewhere in Mexico throwing the masks in the grave. Just thought that was a cool nod. Maybe they've been working on this for literally 10 months. But either way, it's very cool. I like seeing more collaborations with Payday 3 or Payday in general. This one doesn't say Payday 3, although the description does tell you to go and check out Boys in Blue. But Payday did confirm on their Twitter that this is a one-way crossover. So nothing from DayZ is coming into Payday 3 at the moment. Maybe that'll happen down the line, but... We'll see. But there you go. That's everything you need to know about the crossovers. So Alienware mask in Payday 3 now and Payday masks over in DayZ. If you want to check out either of them, I'll link all the relevant blogs in the description. But thank you all for watching. See you all very soon with a brand new video. Look after yourselves, stay safe, and hopefully see you tomorrow for a new dev blog video. Take care.